in this video lecture i will explain you complete specifications of rcc column according to is code so firstly i will explain you the definition which is comes under the rcc column so column is a main structural member subjected to axial load we all know that let us consider this is the column basically we will design the column for the vertical loads only which is nothing but the axial load okay so this is the basic definition which is comes under the column now i will explain you the slenderness ratio regarding the uh, column as well as the pedestrian okay when you call it as column and when you call it as pedestrian basically slenderness ratio is defined as the uh, ratio of the length of the column to the least lateral dimensions of the column okay so this is the basic definition which is comes under the slenderness ratio so if the slenderness ratio value is greater than 3 we can call it as column if slenderness ratio is less than 3 then we can call it as pedestrian so this concept i will explain you with simple example so that you can able to understand clearly so let us consider just i am taking a column which is consisting of approximately 230 cross 300 mm dimensions and length is approximately equal to 3 meter if you calculate the slenderness ratio value length of the column by least lateral dimensions so that it can give the value 3000 divided by 230 230 is the least lateral dimensions for the column so 300 3000 is the length for the column so that it can get the value is approximately equal to 13.04 value so this respected value of 13.04 is greater than 3 value so that we can call it as column section again i will take one more example so let us consider uh, dimensions of the member is 230 mm cross 300 mm and length is approximately equal to 0.5 meter let us take so again we will calculate the slenderness ratio for this respected section lambda equals to uh 500 divided by 230 which is give the value as 2.17 so this value is uh, less than 3 so that we can call it as pedestrian okay so this is the basic definition which is a uh, comparison between uh, column as well as the pedestrian so this is the column structure we, you can see the picture here this is the column structure and this is the pedestrian structure basically the pedestrian structure will be helpful in the uh, for designing up the basement for the steel members So now I will explain you the specifications of RCC column and design. Okay. So nominal cover. So cover is nothing but the uh, distance between this respected reinforcement bar to edge of the column. One. We will call it as cover. Okay. So basically we will consider the nominal cover as diameter of the bar, or else we will consider it as 40 mm. The maximum of any one of this respected value we will consider it as cover. So for the uh, 40 mm, uh, we will consider. Uh, if uh, diameter of the bar is less than uh, 40 mm, if the diameter of the bar is greater than 40 mm, if in that case we will consider it as diameter of the bar. Okay, just I'm let us consider simple example. Just I'm considering some column here like this, which is consisting of bar diameter diameter is approximately 42 mm. So this respected value is greater than the uh, bar. Uh, sorry, this respected 40 mm is less than 42 mm diameter bar. In that case, we will consider it as diameter of the bar. Okay, so 40 mm. If the diameter of the bar is less than 40, we will consider it as 40 mm. If the diameter of the bar is greater than 40 mm, we will consider it as diameter of the bar. Okay, this is the nominal cover. So maximum of any one of the value we will consider as the nominal cover as per the IS Codal Provision Standard System. This is the main point. Okay, so again minimum as well as the maximum reinforcement in the column. The minimum reinforcement in RCC column should not be less than 0.8 percentage. This is important point. Again, in the same process, the maximum value of the reinforcement value in RCC column should not be more than 6 percentage. These two values are very much important. If you are done with the designing process, complete designing process under the RCC column, you have to compare those reinforcement values with this 0.8 percentage minimum as well as the 6 percentage maximum. This is the important one. Okay. And the next one is. minimum diameter of the longitudinal bar longitudinal bar is nothing but the uh, bar which is provided uh, throughout the length of the column this vertical bars we will call it as longitudinal bars the diameter of the bar is 12 mm uh, we have to consider for the if the width or depth which is greater than 200 mm we will consider as minimum of 12 mm diameter again if the width or depth of the column is greater than sorry less than 200 mm our bar is approximately minimum of <coughs> less than 12 mm this is the main one okay so the next one is transverse reinforcement which is nothing but the stirred up reinforcement basically the transverse reinforcement bar diameter we need to fix that respect to transverse reinforcement bar will be depends upon the two factors again one is related to dll by 4 and 6 mm 
so here ll is least to longitudinal so for example let us consider just i was done with the designing of this column which is consisting of approximately 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 number of the bars so let us consider i was taken corner bars which is consisting of 16 mm diameter and center bars just i was taken it as let us consider just i was taken it as 12 mm diameter bar so here dll in that case we will consider it as 12 mm diameter bar okay so 12 mm divided by 4 so that it can give the value is 3 mm so the transverse reinforcement diameter bar we have to consider as 3 mm otherwise we will consider it as 6 mm okay so we have to compare these respected values so if you got the value is uh, less than 6 mm then we we no need to consider that value so if the value is uh, minimum we have to consider as 6 mm if the greater than value then we have to consider in that case okay so for example let us consider just i am taking 32 mm diameter bar let us consider least lateral dimensions 32 divided by 4 which is comes under the value is 8 mm so we have to consider the 8 mm diameter bar in that case okay so this is one the maximum of any one of the above value we will consider as transverse reinforcement again in the same process pitch so pitch is nothing but the vertical distance between the bars this is vertical distance between one bar to one bar is called pitch so the pitch value will be least to lateral dimensions or else 16 times of dsl and 300 mm sl is small of longitudinal bar okay so small of <coughs> value of above is considered for the column design so any one of this small value we will consider it as pitch okay so helical reinforcement sometimes some people will design the helical reinforcement according to their requirement so in that case we have to consider the diameter of this respected bar is approximately d by 4 or 6 mm okay so we have to consider it as d by 4 or 6 mm helical reinforcement or uh, dimensions for the section okay the maximum of any one value we will consider from this two and pitch will be calculated according to the theoretical formula vh by vc equals to 0.36 into ag by ac minus 1 into sigma ck by sigma y this is a basic formula we have to calculate for the pitch okay so in my upcoming videos i will explain you the complete calculation part regarding this okay so again next one is related to minimum number of the longitudinal bars so for the rectangular section we will consider it as four number of the longitudinal bars for the circular section we will consider it as six number of the longitudinal bars and for the pentagonal we will consider it as five numbers and for the hexagonal we will consider it as six numbers okay this is the minimum number of the bars that is required for the column again next one is minimum eccentricity so we will calculate the minimum eccentricity by using the expression unsupported length of the column by 500 plus lateral dimensions by 30 okay this is the minimum eccentricity we have to calculate according to the distribution of the load so if the value of the e minimum is less than of 0.05 times of least lateral dimension then it is said to be axially loaded column so let us consider just i am taking here let us take the column this is the center point of the column if any one of the load which is placed near to this respected section this value we will consider as uh, eccentricity right so if the eccentricity value is uh, less than 0.05 times of least lateral dimensions of the column then we will consider it as axial loaded column if not we will consider it as eccentrically loaded column if the value is greater than 0.05 times of least lateral dimensions we will consider it as eccentrically loaded column so these are the major eight points we have to consider while designing the column okay so in that first one is comes under your uh, nominal cover second one is minimum and maximum reinforcement third one is minimum diameter of the longitudinal bar fourth one is transverse reinforcement and fifth one is pitch and sixth one is helical and spiral reinforcement and uh, seventh one is minimum number of the longitudinal bar and the eighth one is minimum eccentricity if you have any queries about this video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected question the same concepts i was uploaded in civilbasics123.com you can watch the complete article in civilbasics123.com thank you